Hello guys, welcome to Cartooning with Paul. Today I'm going to show you how to draw Two-Face from Batman the Animated Series. So come on, let's get started. You seem to be enjoying those Batman the Animated Series how-to videos I've been doing. I mean, you really, really, really like them. Thought we'd continue on with Two-Face after I'm getting requests for him. Uh, if you'd like to go back and check out how to draw Batman, how to draw Joker, how to draw Riddler, Harley Quinn, you can go back, but please don't forget to come back. You gotta come back. Please come back. All right, so let's dive right on into Two-Face. All right, guys, well, we're going to be using one of Bruce Timm's concept sketches as an inspiration for this video. So, we're going to draw in a circle about yay big on the paper, okay? Now, this is going to be his head, and we're going to elongate that shape into like a long egg shape, just like so. You'll notice that the line coming down the center is over to the side because he's looking this way, but he's also looking downward. So, we're going to draw his horizontal line on a bit of a curve just like that all right now before we get into the face let's figure out his body so two-face has some very broad shoulders so what we're going to want to do is figure out um, how his body is going to go and we will figure out those shoulders in a second here all right so this is how his balanced and let's throw in a line for his shoulders like that and then we will throw in the shoulder line like so all right now that's going to make sense in a minute now his torso is about three heads high so we're going to measure the head and we're going to go down one two and three so, his waistline is going to go right about here. Now, we clearly didn't give enough for the entire body. We're not going to be drawing in his feet. So, we're going to draw in as much of the body as we can. And now that we know where his waist is, I'm going to throw in from this corner here, I'm going to throw in a line like this. And it's a little curved but it's pretty much straight down, okay? Then, on this side, I'm going to go back here and I'm going to figure out the shape of his back. So if we've got a rib cage that's gonna be like this, because we're doing a cartoon version of Two-Face and he's quite broad, so we're gonna give him a very big uh, rib cage. And then from here, I'm gonna come down like this. Okay. Now he's gonna have a wide stance and that's why he goes down here. But the reason we're going back here and down here like this is for balance to counter this. Okay. All right. And now I'm just going to quickly put in some light sketch lines for his legs. going to come down here in the center of his chest and I'm just going to draw a line down to where his legs separate here. All right. Now, not only is that going to help me figure out how to center his tie and his suit coat, but because he's Two-Face, I get to use this to separate the colors. It's very clever. So now that we got that in, let's continue with the pose that uh, Bruce had done here. So we've got, he has one arm and it's kind of bent and it's coming up because this hand is the one flipping the coin. So I've got the jacket sleeve like so. I'm going to continue off of this line for the cuff of his shirt sleeve like this. And then I'm going to give him his hand. Um, you know what? Let's 
yeah, just like so. And give him his thumb. And now this is how I break down how he drew his hand. We've got a thumb shape. Okay, actually, yeah, it's roughly about that right there. All right. Now we've got his fingers that are making almost a fist. He is flipping the coin. And the beauty about Bruce Timm's designs is that he keeps everything very squared off. So what we're gonna do is we're going to separate this into three fingers. And I see I gave way too much there. That's why we sketch lightly. So we've got these three fingers here. And they're gonna curl in just like that. And give him the, the meat to his. So now the index finger is gonna come out from here and it's going to be out a little bit. It's going to be raised a little bit because he's using that to flip the coin. All right. And now we'll just, we'll just throw that coin right up there like that. All right. Now the other arm is going to be relaxed here by his side. So we've got, let's give him Taylor end of the, the sleeve here on his shoulder. And we're going to come right down here like this. Here's the cuff of his sleeve. But because it's a Bruce Tim character, give some excess fabric there like that. All right, now, what I'm going to do is throw in his hand like so. So we've got a rectangle here almost, but it's a little wider on the bottom. And then we will just relax the fingers a little bit. Throw a thumb in like that. And now while I'm down here, let's throw in the suit. So we want the suit jacket to be nicely tailored because he is the city's district attorney and he's got a lot of money to blow on expensive suits. So keep it in close to the body like that. We're going to just darken in the lines like this and come down. He's extremely streamlined, so we keep it nice and neat like that. So now we've got that in, his head is going to need some room, so let's dive into the head right now. So now we're working on the face. We've got the eye line here like this. Now because he's looking downward, I'm gonna utilize this line here and I am going to draw in kind of like an egg shape like that. On this side, I'm going to draw in a big round circle. I want them in line with each other for now. His nose comes out a little like this. And on that side, we'll do a line like that. And then his mouth is right about here. But we're going to go back to the eyes first before we do this. So his eyelid is down like that. And we'll have him looking right at us. We're going to give him some eyelash here. 
So to emphasize the dichotomy of of his two personalities, they wanted to push the fact that uh, Harvey Dent was an, an attractive man in town. So they wanted to make sure that he was a handsome character on this side of the face. So his hair is nicely groomed. Has nice shaped eyes. He's got that strong jawline. And they gave him like golden Hollywood day type lips. All right, and now, so now it's time to tackle the distorted half of his face. So we use this line as our guideline, and we're going to start with his eye. And his eye is going to be very wide open. We've got a cool side here. We're going to have very intense side here. Bruce Tim always had like a like a J hook shape for the pupil of his wild side eye. And we're gonna give him some wild eyelashes here. I'm going to give him a little bag under his eye here. And we're going to make sure that the cheekbone is almost like it's exposed. Now all of the, the flesh on the, the meat of his jaw here is missing on this side. So kind of comes in and it's all jagged lines instead of this nice smooth line on this side and we can't forget his lips curled back on his deformed side and it reveals his gums his teeth and it shows everything on this side okay uh, the lips are a thick line on this side, and they come in like that. All right, and now where his hair was nicely groomed on this side, on this side, it's wild and untamed. When Bruce Tim was designing this character, he wanted it extremely readable, extremely quickly, what's going on here. So... We're just going to give him this weird, messed up, like Doc Brown almost, hair coming right out of the one side. And he has some, I don't know if they're warts, they're bumps anyway, in the skin. And of course, if you're coloring him in, this side of his flesh is colored a, a light blue and it has some darker blue in there for shadowing. All right, now, now that I got that in, let's throw in his shirt shapes here. We have a collar here. We have a tie. And just take advantage of that line down the center. And now, we will close off the jacket, give him the lapel, and when coloring it in, just remember that his dress shirt is black on this side. And don't worry if you miss the detail in his shirt collar, all right? And his suit is gonna be white on this half of his body. That's to emphasize the good side of Harvey Dent. And then the tie is black on this side. Shirt is white, 
but then his suit is black on this side. All right. That to me is looking like like a pretty decent sketch of Harvey Dent, AKA Two-Face. Guys, if you like drawing this with me, please give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Hit that bell notification so you never miss out on the next video. If you'd like to draw some other videos like this, I've got some right over here for you. I want to thank you so much for drawing with me today. And until the next time, we'll see you later.